Chatter's Pantomime, Beauty and the Beast, Episode 1. Hello, boys and girls. It's so wonderful that you are here to watch the Chatteris Cartoon Pantomime. All of us at Chatteris welcome you to be our guest as we tell you a story of true love that happened right here in Hong Kong. At the very top of Hong Kong Peak lived a handsome prince. But although the prince was handsome on the outside, he was very, very ugly on the inside. Let's start our story with Winnie the Friendly Witch. Hello, boys and girls. What a treat it is to have you all here. My name is Winnie, and I have a secret. I'm a witch. Now, no, don't worry, I'm not a bad witch. I'm a good witch. I teach people how to be good. Oh no, boys and girls. I need to find somewhere to hide from the typhoon. This castle looks like a safe place. Um, Master, there's someone at the door. Who dares disturb me? What do you want? I need shelter from the typhoon. It's a T10. I'm going to be blown away. How dare you ask to come into my castle looking like that? Only beautiful, important people like myself can be in my castle. <laughs> oh, please, Prince, please. It's very dangerous out here. I can grant you any wish you want if you please let me in. Uh, should I let her inside? Yeah, no, you're far too ugly. You're right, Master. She's so ugly. W w what if I grant you a wish? Anything you want. I have a wand. I'm magical, you see? The only magic you need is making yourself disappear. Magic? <laughs> Why do I need your magic when I have everything I've ever wanted? I'm handsome, rich, and the most powerful person in the whole of Hong Kong. Now, go away! Yeah, it's time for you to leave, you ugly witch. I wouldn't say that if I were you. I said, go away! Get out of here. Disappear, you ugly witch. I don't think Winnie the Witch is very happy. I think the prince and his servants are in trouble now. That's it! That prince and his servants need to be shown a lesson. He may be handsome on the outside, but he is ugly on the inside. And his servants are just as mean. Handsome prince, your time has come. Now you will be the ugly one. Hard as cold as Elsa's eyes. A beast you'll be until your night! <laughs> oh, that didn't seem to work. Maybe you should join along and help me. <laughs> Handsome prince, your time has come. Now you will be the ugly one. Hard as cold as Elsa's eyes. A beast you'll be until your night! <laughs> the once handsome prince was transformed into an ugly beast. Now his outside appearance matches his ugly heart. The prince was doomed to stay a beast until he learned to love someone and have someone love him back. As for his loyal servants, they were changed into objects and forced to stay with the beast in his castle. The servants were forced to live as a bubble tea, an iPhone, and a pair of chopsticks. I feel funny. You look funny. We look the same, dummy. 
the beast was embarrassed by his new appearance and locked himself and his servants away for many years. For who could ever fall in love with a beast? Deep in the heart of Kowloon lived a father and his three daughters, Pineapple, Bun, and Bell. Yep, you heard that right. He named his daughters Pineapple and Bun. Well, what can I say? He is a baker, and he owns the best bakery in town. And today he is travelling to a baking competition held at the top of Hong Kong Peak. Oh, here is the delightful pineapple and bun. Oh, bun! Why are all the people in Kowloon so ugly? Yeah, why are they all so ugly? I know, Bun. They're not blessed with gorgeous, good looks like us, are they? No, Pineapple. Not everyone can be as beautiful as us or as lucky. Our dad owns this bakery, so we can eat all the cakes we like. Ha <laughs> ha! I think that you eat a few too many cakes, don't you? I'll have you know that many people have said I look like a movie star. Which one? Shrek? <laughs> Pineapple! <laughs> <laughs> Girls, girls, are you fighting again? What will I ever do with you? Now, help me get the shop open. I'm leaving to go to my baking competition tonight, so we need to get ready. His daughters were supposed to be helping him prepare for the baking competition, but Belle is nowhere to be found. Belle doesn't want to work at the bakery with the rest of her family. She dreams about being a tutor and teaching children English. Oh, where is that Belle? She said she would be here to help me. Oh, Belle! She's probably off teaching English somewhere. Uh. I know. All that girl does is read and hang out in her... <laughs> English corner and dreams about becoming a what's it called tutor blah some people choose books and some people choose looks and it's obvious who the prettier sisters are oh sorry I'm late dad I was teaching phonics in the playground teaching English again as usual you're so kind-hearted, Belle, but you're supposed to be helping me get ready for the competition. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Not to worry. Come and help me get ready for the competition. So now we've met the wonderful Belle, her charming father, and her, well, interesting sisters. I wonder what's going to happen next time. <laughs>